Hey kids. Again, I don't have much in the way of replays to show you, just a combo that I worked out. I don't really think this is where I want it to be, to actually be worth uh, making a full proper video on, but it's something that I want to share because I think it's adorable and y'all are going to have to watch that. Obviously it's super heavy. This is just like the, the best way to do a combo right now, I think just by virtue of how much it's capable of doing. Like, if you can imagine a game state, I'm sure that with enough trial and error and enough knowledge of the card pool, you will be able to engineer that using just a Wakaushi. It's insane. Speaking of using just a Wakaushi, here we're going to do that. Uh, we're going to scale Waka, activate Waka. Waka's going to scale Benkei's on itself. Benkei's going to grab Soul Piercer, which will normal summon and link off for Scarecrow. We, ha we didn't start with Bike, so we'll grab Bike now, and then Pitch Bike for Scales, then Pitch Scales for Scarecrow, Targeting Scales, Triggering Scales to summon back Soul Piercer. Here we're going to say Groove for Astrag, and then Trigger and Sequence all of our effect. He just can't keep getting away with this. We'll Special Summon Motorbike, Scale Waka, and then Search Peacemaker, which will tribute off for Waka Ushi. The reason why we're doing all this now is because we're going into Arian Post. And now if our opponent tries to imperm the Arian Post, I can chain Ass Dragon to dodge it and make an uneffective burn. Uh, we're going to banish Gishki Abyss with Arian Post and then activate Ass Dragon, trading out this uh, itself for Stardust and Baron is going to be made with Arian Post. We're going to activate Arian Post to search for Grimness and then we'll Pendulum Summon Grimness and Wakaushi. We'll go ahead and summon another Abyss and then search for Vision, then Synchro off into Berea Storm. Berea Storm sends Steam, which will tribute off the Abyss to summon itself and allow us to make Levair. Levair summons back the Banished Abyss from Ariampos, which searches Shadow. And we're going to go ahead and trade out a, a Vision and Shadow for Photomir and Narimatos. We're going to go ahead and pay 5,000 for Narimatos, then summon back this Abyss, Triggering Abyss, to search for Vision. We'll link off into Area and then into Coral Anemone and bring back this Abyss. Abyss is going to trigger to search for another Vision. Then we'll go ahead and link off into Marbled Rock and add back the Coral Anemone. Then we'll pitch Shadow and Vision for Aquamirror and a second Narimatus. Then we'll Aquamirror away the Narimatus for Narimatus and then Narimatus summons back Narimatus. So this gives us two Negate and Shuffle, one Negate and Destroy, a Stardust Dragon, which is pretty all right. And the Marbled Rock is just like a body, but more importantly, it put the Coral Anemone back, so we have a little bit more follow-up. Which is like, pretty decent. It's cute. Really, the biggest thing that I like about this is that it uses both effects of Arian Post without having to play Goatee cards. Uh, it's really cool. Uh, when I realized that I could use both effects here, I was just over the moon. Uh, using the Ariad Post to search any level 6 or lower fish in Super Heavy is actually so cool, even if there aren't that many uses for it. Uh, you could definitely use it for like some flavor of Coelacanth nonsense, but with how many zones you take up by doing the Super Heavy combo, I don't think that would really do much. Um, I'm sure someone with a smarter brain than me, or just me slamming my head against the wall for long enough looking for fish starters, We'll be able to find more ways to use Arian Post, but until then, here's my favorite way to do it, other than just playing Super Heavy Goody. Alright, see ya.